Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to the power m plus n, which is same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. At this here, we have 5 raised to the power x times 5 raised to the power 1 minus. Also, here, it follows when we have a raised to the power m minus n. We same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. At this here we have 5 raised to the power x over 5 raised to the power 1 and equals to 30 on this side. The next step here, you can write it as 5 raised to the power x times 5 raised to the power 1, that's 5, then minus. Here we can write it as 5 raised to the power x times 5, 1 over 5 raised to the power 1, which is 1 over 5, then equals to 30 from here. That is, we have 5 raised to the power x common. Factor it out, and this becomes 5 raised to the power x into brackets. We are left with 5 and minus 1 over 5 here, then equals to 30 from here. That is, yeah. We have 5 raised to the power x, then multiply by here we have 5 over 1, and the SM here that's 5, and one, ten, 1 in 5 that's 5, 5 left side that's 25, minus also 5 in 5, 1, 1 times 1, 1, then equals to 30 on this side. That this, this becomes 5 raised to the power x times 25 minus 1 that's 24 over 5, then equals to 30 from here. And to remove here, 24 over 5, we multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this. Let's just multiply this by 5 over 24. Also multiply this side by 5 over 24. That is 24 cancel each other, also 5 cancel each other. And here we are left with 5 raised to the power x, which is equal to 30 times 5, which you can write as 30 times 5 all over 24. Then also here, this becomes 5 raised to the power x equals to 6 times 5. Then times 5 over here, we have 6 times 4. That is, from here, 6 cancelled each other. And all we have left become 5 raised to the power x equals to 5 times 5. Then over 4. Then, Next step here, we take the log on both sides. As this here, we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log 5 times 5 over 4. That is, from here, we apply power law of logarithm. That is, when we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. Then here we have x log 5, then equals to log. If we like, we can express 5 times 5 as 25, then over 4 here. The next step, we divide both sides by log 5. Let's just divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5. Which implies here yeah, log 5 cancelled each other. Then we have x left, which is equal to log 25 over 4, then all over log 5. The next step here, this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a over b, you can write this as log a minus log b. That is, what we have here becomes 
x equals to log 25 minus log 4 over log 5. The next step here, separate this into two fractions. And we have x equals to log 25 over log 5 minus log 4 over log 5. Then, next step here, we can express 25 as 5 times 5, which is the same thing as 5 squared, and also 4 as 2 times 2, which is the same thing as 2 squared. As this all here becomes x equals to log 5 squared over log 5 minus log 2 squared over log 5. The next step here, we apply the part of log ring as this two comes here and also here. The other becomes x equals to 2 log 5 over log 5 minus 2 log 2 over log 5. That is here, we have log 5 cancelled each other. That is 2 left here, and we have x equals to 2 minus. Here we can write it as 2 times log 2 over log 5. And when we apply change of base here, from when we have log a over log b, this is the same thing as log a to base b. That is, what we have now becomes x equals to 2 minus 2 log 2 base 5. That is, we have the value of x a as 2 minus 2 log 2 base 5. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 minus 2 log 2 base 5. Then, what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 2 minus 2 log 2 base 5 plus 1 then minus also 5 raised to power 2 minus 2 log 2 base 5 minus 1 is it equals to 30 on this side then here we have 2 plus 1 that's 3 that is, we have 5 raised to power 3 minus 2 log 2 base 5 and minus also here we have 2 minus 1 that's 1 that's 5 raised to power 1 minus 2 log 2 base 5 this is equals to 30 on this side then we apply the law of indices here when we have a raised to power m minus n. This is the same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. That is, here we have 5 raised to power 3 over 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 5 then minus. Also here we have 5 raised to power 1 over 5 raised to power 2 log 2 Base 5 is it equals to 30 on this side? And 5 raised to the power 3, 5 multiply itself 3 times, that's 125. Then over here, we reverse this 2 up from power law. That is, we have 5 raised to the power law 2 square base 5 minus 5 raised to the power 1, that's 5. Then over also here, we have 5 raised to the power law. 2 square base 5 is it equals to 30 from here? Then 
applying the law of log when we have a raised to power log b to base a this equals to b that is here the same thing as 2 square which is 4 and we have 125 over 4 now minus also here we have 5 over 4 this is equals to 30 on this side that is here when we bring this together as one fraction SM is 4 and here we have 125 minus 5 that's 120 is equals to 30 here and of course 120 over 4 give us 30 which is equals to 30 on this side that is left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 2 minus 2 log 2 base 5 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now